Hello everyone, today we will delve into the fascinating world of the bacteriophages which is also known as the phages. So here look at this picture you can see that the bacteriophages are basically the specific type of the viruses that uh, replicate within the bacteria and ultimately hijack its system. Finally it causes the death of the bacteria. So today we're going to discuss the two topics. First one is how to estimate the PSQ and the other one is the dilution of the phages, bacteriophages. So let's begin. The PFU is the plaque forming unit per ml. Uh, what is the plaque? Look at the, this portion and you can see that there are the tiny spores in it which is basically due to the lysis of the bacteria by the individual page. So what is the dilution factor? Here I have mentioned the 8 dilution and here is the original one. So it means that I just took the 10 microliter from original one and put into the uh, tube 1 and then from 1 tube to the tube 2 and 3 and 4, 5, 6 and ultimately in the 8. So here I make the serial dilution of the page phages solution and ultimately my is tighter. If you, if you look at uh, the original one and the one here there are no tiny spots. The, the patch is clear one while in the 5, 6, 7 and 8 there are the tiny spots like this. So it means that the as we dilute uh, as we are diluting the phages we are decreasing the titer. So here uh, just look at the, these two plates to differentiate what is the high phase titer and what is the low phase titer. The lower plate has uh, uh, the very few spots while the upper plate after even after the air dilution has a very high concentration of the phages. So for to measure the PFU we just put the value of the flags by counting this like that like in the 8 solution. Uh, 8 uh, dilution in the 8 dilution there was a 32 plaques so we gonna calculate this and the dilution factor will be the 8 and the volume that was plated that was plated on the fatty plate was the 10 microliter and I will convert this 10 microliter into the uh, ml which will be the 0.01 ml let's begin here from here you can easily uh, measure the pfu here there was a 32 so i put the 32 the dilution was 8 and the volume was 0.01 so i calculated and the pfu is the 3.2 by 10 raised to the power 11 which is the highest titer until now so here you can can you tell like uh, which one has a low titer the b1 and the a1 please tell me in the comments now let's begin and the second topic what is the which is the how to dilute the pitch stock so what is the background? We have the stock solution of the page with the higher concentration of 2.4 multiplied 10 raised to the power 11. I just changed the value from 3.2 to the 2.4 and the title is still uh, 10 raised to the power 11 phages per ml. So objective, what is the objective? We just change from uh, 11 to the 8. And of our file volume should be the 20 ml. So to dilute uh, the phages, I will use this formula. C1 V1 is equal to C2 V2. C1 is the initial concentration. V1 is the volume of stock uh, that we calculated previously. So we know about the volume of stock. And C2 is the final concentration after the dilution like what we want we want the 2.4 multiplied and is the part 8 and the v2 is the final volume 
after the dilution the final volume should be the 20 ml okay so let's begin here is a c1 b1 is a unknown we don't know how much we will take from our stock solution and we'll add in the 20 ml so that the concentration would be the 2.4 multiplied by 10 so let's solve it we will put the values and calculate it ultimately we will just have the volume to multiply 10 raised to the power minus 3 which means that we will just take the 0.00 ml 2 ml uh, from the uh, uh, from the stock solution which is equal to the 2 ml 2 microliter this is how much the solvent we will add 19.998 so uh, finally I would like to say mastering this calculation ensures um, accurate page calculation for your experiment so if you have any question don't hesitate to ask me thanks